What's happening everybody, the poets here. Hope you're doing well, staying safe. And today's video is a continuation on the series of the HP Omen 45L. This has been an interesting desktop PC, pre-built as you can see with its cryo chamber. So it's a separate area for an AIO up top. You can have up to a 360 millimeter AIO and you can even do custom water cooling in this as well because the tubes that come down here will fit a lot of different styles of tubing for custom water cooling. But that might be a separate series, so we'll get to that. The point of this video is this GPU, it's an RTX 3090, so, you know, top of the line NVIDIA style GPU, and it has this honker of a GPU bracket on there. And I keep looking at it wondering, one, is it ugly? I haven't decided yet. I, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't at the same time, kind of like apples. I don't know if I like apples. But um, also, is it, you know, a, making things a little different with the airflow because it is kind of large. So I want to know if, there we go. If I take this off, will it actually improve the temperatures for the 3090? Now we know at 3090s, let me set this down they have uh, VRAM on the back that gets really, really hot. And it hasn't been extraordinarily bad on this 3090. It's been pretty average, just like many other 3090s have very hot uh, VRAM, VRAMs on the backside. And uh, custom water cooling by like EKWB with their active backplates completely solves that. I actually did a video on that where it dropped, um, let's see, the VRAM temps by about 48 degrees Celsius in Blender Benchmark. So check that video out. I'll link it up here or something like that. But if I take this off, will it actually improve the airflow? Because there's three fans here, two and a half of the fans are blowing basically directly on the GPU uh, with the half of the fan down here going to this piece right here where the PSU is. And um, then of course the 12900K right here is being cooled by its own separate section, the, the cryo chamber. So let's do this. I'm going to run Haven Benchmark, Heaven Benchmark, however you'd like to pronounce it, and um, let this run for like 10 minutes or so to see what the temperatures are for the, the VRAM on the back as well as the, the main GPU temps, and then let the system cool down, take this off, and then run it again. See if there's any difference whatsoever. All right, let's get to it. Let's put this back on. There's a lot of different settings for Heaven Benchmark. And basically I'm gonna put the quality to ultra and make sure it runs in full screen. Go ahead and crush it with the anti-aliasing and the resolution. We are gonna go for, let's see here, 2560 by 1440. And that should be good for now. Oh, DirectX 11, there we go. So we're gonna run this. full screen mode and hardware info 64 is in the background monitoring temperatures so it's showing right here 170 fps nvidia geforce rtx 3090 uh, it's running at 2100 megahertz memory is at 9,751 megahertz, it says. Temperature is at 55, 56 degrees Celsius. So this is gonna climb. So I'm gonna let this run for about 10 minutes and we'll come back. It's been just over 10 minutes with Haven Benchmark and we have about 170 FPS. Uh, the graphics are at 2100 megahertz, memory is at 9,751 megahertz, and the temperature is about 78 degrees Celsius. So I have some thoughts on this. So as this is still running, the fans up here for the CPU, they didn't increase in speed at all, at least nothing I, I can tell. Uh, but the, the side panel here, or the back panel, this is definitely blowing out a lot more hot air, but the noise level really hasn't increased much at all. So you could definitely adjust the fan curves to make this even more effective in terms of cooling if you want, because these fans can get loud if you manually set it to them. Uh, but this is just the, the normal like preset that HP Omen has for the 45L. And uh, yeah, I like the, the audible level. So let's take a look in Hardware Info 64 to see what the, the full temperatures are. So Hardware Info 64 does show the maximum temperature was 79.5 degrees, so you know, 80 degrees Celsius, so not too bad. The memory junction temperature though, this did hit 96 degrees Celsius. So this has pretty much been the maximum I've ever seen 
uh, this for the 45L. I've definitely had a number of 3090s that have hit like 100 degrees Celsius, so that's not too bad. Plus with the fan curve uh, being fairly quiet, this could probably be improved if you like. All right, so now the next step is to take off the bracket here to see if that affects the airflow and the temperatures at all for this 3090. Do a quick shutdown, take this off, and let's start unscrewing. Let's see here. Well, it looks like it's uh, got a sliding bracket on the back, so let's open up the back paddle. Pop this off. And yeah, so that's what that is right here. So just unscrewing this right here. And it looks like two of the screws are captive screws, so they're gonna stay in. And one actually comes out. The two captive screws are Phillips head. The one that stays in is a uh, flathead screwdriver. So this was the middle screw. It's just a flathead screw. This is the bracket. And this should just pop right off now. So these screws here, these are, well, they seem like they're captive, but they're not. So I don't know. I don't know why HP um, used different screws for that, but that is kind of annoying to keep track of. And of course you have to swap your heads for your screwdriver too. So this seems very stable. Uh, stick for leveling. Yep, very level. So it's not like drooping down or anything. So that's, that's solid. Uh, the HP Omen 3080 and 3090s are not all that heavy. So this is really just for looks, if you like it, or shipping, you know, to make it very secure when this is being tossed around by FedEx or whoever else is delivering it to, you know? A little dirty. So turning this back on, putting the panels back on, so that we can get to going and running Heaven Benchmark one more time. I know the reflection is pretty epic, but I think this looks a little bit better without that bracket. What do you think? Could probably do something with that extra slack for the power cable there. But yeah, I'm liking it. All right, now that the GPU bracket is off, Hardware Info 64 is up and running, nice and clear. We can run Heaven Benchmark for about 10 minutes and see how this goes. And to start it off, you see that the graphics is at 2100 megahertz, the memory is at 9751 megahertz. So that's all the same. So we're gonna see how this goes with Heaven Benchmark. This is an older program, but it's still a great way to generate heat in a GPU and really find out like where the hotspots are, like the, the back VR, VRAM, and of course, just different spots on the GPU as well. That's what's great about Hardware Info 64. You really get to monitor the different areas of the GPU hotspots. It's been well over 10 minutes of having benchmark running with this bracket off, so let's see the temperatures right now. The noise level has really been the same. Nothing has changed there. And what we see here is the GPU temperature is at 80 degrees Celsius. The GPU memory junction temperature is at 96 degrees Celsius. Science. So yeah, this was kind of fun and funny at the same time. I can actually hear the fans slowing down a little bit, and especially now that I took off the, uh, the side plate here. And overall, this is a learning experience. So this thing, it's a hunker of a chunk of plastic and it's meaningless in terms of the temperatures. So if you wanna leave it on for safety, leave it on. If you like the way it looks, great. If you think it's an ugly piece of plastic, then take it off. It means nothing temperature-wise. Um, also, it's not really supporting anything. This thing, this 3090 is in there solidly. But if you plan on transporting this, like say you're, I don't know, gonna drive it from A to B for whatever reason, then yeah, you may wanna consider putting this back on. So just gonna throw it in the back of a closet, keep the screws, the two different style of screws that HP used for this, and of course the little tiny back plate. So what I tend to do is just put things like this in a little baggie and tape it, label it with like black marker, and if I can, put it like inside the case somewhere where it doesn't affect airflow and temperatures or anything, just so that you have it, you don't lose it. So that's a little pro tip. I wish I followed my pro tips more often. So other than that, uh, hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you loved it. <sighs> Another video where I kind of sound like Dave2D. 
All right, I'm going to put his picture right here. Follow Dave2D since he's on my mind, apparently. Ooh. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one, which is going to be interesting about this because HP Omen, uh, they just contacted me today saying that they're sending me something new and interesting and shiny that's not released yet. So wait for that video. All right, see you later. Peace.